Norwich Cathedral is one of the oldest cathedrals in Britain. It is also unusual because during the Middle Ages there was a sensing angel suspended from the vault. The original sensing angel was used during certain services and religious festivals as a means of offering incense up to God. Peter Doll and Philip McFadgen embarked on a project which will involve two local schools and two local artists to recreate a contemporary version of the sensing angel and bring it back as a feature of celebration and reflection for the community. By bringing the angel back, we, there are a variety of things we hope to achieve. One thing is to renew the sense of the church as a place where heaven and earth are connected to one another, where God comes down to earth to be among his people and where our spirits are raised to heaven. We also want to exploit the sense of space within the nave that when at the moment there's nothing between the people on the ground and the carvings in the vaults of the cathedral and we'd like to bring back that sense of that space in between as active space where things happen, where there are connections to be made. We also want to, to bring back something that was an important feature in the life of the cathedral and that one that was uh, popularly significant and we think this would uh, attract the interest of the people of Norwich. Uh, Norwich is a county whose churches are full of angels and in a sense this could be an angel that represents all those other churches, all those other angels in the way that a cathedral does. Well I think it's an important project because it does engage people with scripture and the gospel message because the, an angel uh, angelos in Greek is a messenger. It's uh, a communication between God and man. And the message, the good news, is about salvation, about God's engagement with us. So it's, it's crucial for me that we uh, give this a visual interpretation. So we go back to the uh, sensing angel to arrest people's attention. So they look up at this story, this biblical story, and begin to ask questions. And I think it, it will engage a lot of people who are on the edge of spirituality and Christianity because angels are big time, aren't they? A lot of people are interested in them. And it's also a lot of fun. Students will be helping with the assistance of professional artists to construct the angel and to decorate it and to hang it. And uh, the schools are using it as opportunities to help children think about uh, angels and about uh, our relationship with God here on earth. We got a group of um, gifted and talented students together and we did a brainstorm um, session and then they worked in groups um, and came up with lots of exciting ideas about the practical elements, what the angel might look like. Some that look very much like um, everyone would think an angel would look like and then others uh, more abstract and more conceptual um, sort of you know and been influenced by the artists that they were looking at um, so lots of quite nice interesting ideas um, and concepts the idea was to sort of to make the actual angel from willow the actual structure of the body we had another discussion and we, yeah. we basically come up with the ideas for the, the wings and, and using graffiti because it's quite a modern sort of icon, you know. Thinking about the materials we're using and the sustainability of those materials will all come into the imagery and hopefully we'll, um, the schools will come up with more um, to combine with it. And I think it's, it's very uplifting and it will bring an awful lot of people together. It's an exciting project for us because we have this sense that the, the empty space, the air between the floor of the church and the roof of the nave is an empty space, an, an unoccupied space. And the, the idea that there might be something there that is large, a significant figure that, that moves, that creates a sense of energy in that middle zone within the building of the church is one that's really exciting to us. Um, it's exciting to us that we are celebrating um, Norfolk churches, Norfolk angels. Uh, it's important to us that we're celebrating the, the gifts that children and school teachers and local artists can bring to our life as well. So it feels like a real community project and one that we're very excited to be, to be involved in.